Hey, and welcome to the greenhouse. Normally you'd find me in the mountains, but uh, at the moment that's not possible. So I'm doing the other most favorite thing and that's being in the greenhouse and seeing how productive we can be here. And so today I want to show you a little trick that uh, a friend of mine taught me that lives out on a farm and I've miniaturized that down into something that you can use in your greenhouse and it's a fantastic way to have your strawberries self-water. Now this might be a more common way of growing strawberries is to put them in a bucket. As you can see I've done here. But what I tend to find is that when you water them, the water drops straight down the middle. Most of it. And run straight down the bottom and water the rest of your garden. So there's a way you can stop that, and particularly in the sunny areas. And it makes it a lot easier to keep the plants alive. And see this one not doing anywhere near as well as this one or these ones which we've already made. So let's go to the garage and we'll show you how to make a self-watering strawberry holder. Well, we're in the garage from the greenhouse, so let's get straight into making our self-watering strawberry pot plant. Now, this idea comes off the farm where farmers use these large containers. What they do is they lay crush rock in the bottom, then hessian bag and then soil on top. They drill holes in it around the point where the hessian is and then fill with water and plant on top. And the water then is drawn up and for weeks on end, the plants will water themselves. And I thought, well, can I miniaturize this? for the greenhouse because I have a similar problem with the strawberries when I water them in traditional pots, all that water going right the way through. To do that, we're going to need a milk container, similar to this, and an egg carton. And they're really just two things that you can easily find in your recycling bin, keeping with our view of upcycling whatever we can in the greenhouse. First of all, we're gonna take the milk carton and peel the labels off. And once you've got those peels cut just under the handle, so we get the maximum amount of depth of that milk container for our strawberry. Now you can do that just with uh, any sort of sharp knife. Obviously be careful in doing it. Cut all the way around the edge. You could also do this with scissors. Have a similar effect. and you should end up with something that looks roughly like that. Now with the egg carton, half of that egg carton is exactly the right size to cut into and put in the bottom of our milk container. And it acts like the hessian in terms of what we were talking about around what the farmers do. So we're gonna make a cut straight down the middle of our egg carton. And then once cut, we're just going to place that egg carton straight down and into our milk container. Now the next step is that we want the water to be able to drain out so this is a wicking a pot plant. Grab yourself a drill and probably about an 8 to 10 mil. Don't want to make the hole uh, too big in that soil will come out of it but don't want it too small that the soil blocks the water coming out of it as well. Now we've done that we've got our milk container set up, holes in the side, egg carton inside. Now the next thing is is to hang that so with a pair of side cutters we're just going to cut in down here at the bottom. Take both of those sides off. Just need to twist out the edges. And then we're going to put some more holes in our milk carton. So we want two holes at the top on either side, probably just a couple of centimetres from the top. And then the coat hangers that we've, we've cut and bent we're going to hook those into it and that will then create the hanging basket for us in which we'll be able to connect into our greenhouse. Well, back in the greenhouse and like we talked about, let's repot this one here. And we're just going to take some soil straight out of the garden here and plant it into that. So it'll be mulched, fertilised, so we need to put more in that. Take a bit of that out of the way. All right, let's get some nice soil there. Next step is we're going to take the potted one that we've already got. There are some little strawberries coming up in there, so it's going to do fantastically well. Put our handles back in. 
Now these, if you're interested, are simply made out of an old dryer rack. You can probably pick up one on the uh, on a pile somewhere. Uh, I've just simply cut the length and uh, bent it. Fill the reservoir. Let's just see what we mean here. Let that soak right in. Just to see. Fill up. And that should keep it watered for a good one or two weeks so I don't have to water the entire greenhouse constantly and wet the ground in other areas just to keep the strawberries alive and you can see that in some of the cases strawberries are doing you quite well. Well that's it for today on now creating a self-watering strawberry pot plant and I hope to bring a lot of other ideas to you that I've built in the greenhouse and I'll take you right through the greenhouse at some point. But yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. While we're not out in the mountains, we're going to be looking at upcycling and recycling from the neighbourhood into a greenhouse and seeing what we can do to increase productivity. So stay tuned. I'm going to have a lot of other great tips for you over the coming weeks and months as we enter into spring and summer and the fantastic growing season here in Southeast Australia.